Almost 100 Alabama inmates are heading home from prison today as part of a 2021 state law. They're the first group of about 400 who will be getting out over the next month or so. And News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more. Inmates who didn't have a ride home this morning were dropped off at bus stations across the state with a ticket home and an ankle monitor. That includes Shane Rutledge, who we spoke with at a station in downtown Birmingham. Been looking forward to the getting out and being able to, you know, get back into society. Rutledge was scheduled for release in September, but is looking to start anew now. Employment first and then uh, just trying to get my life back on track. He's one of the 92 out today, mostly for drug offenses or crimes in which victims have been notified. Alabama Bureau of Pardons and Paroles Director Cam Ward says each person has a home plan and is being closely monitored. We're going to know. I mean, if you violate the terms, we have an electronic monitor. We know where you are the whole time. Ward says those released have anywhere from about two weeks to 10 months left on their sentence. One way or the other, getting out. Now, I think I want supervision over them. That being said, at the end of the day, we don't have a position one way or the other on the law. Those out now are part of a larger group of inmates whose release a judge has ordered be delayed until the Department of Corrections notifies victims. Attorney General Steve Marshall said as of Friday, ADOC had contacted fewer than 20 victims. And I've seen literally victims shaking just out of the fear of somebody being released that committed a violent criminal act against their family. So it's traumatic and we know that it impacts them in a very profound way and they have a right to know long before that individual is being released so they can make their own preparations physically, emotionally or whatever it may be. Marshall says considering the state's 31% recidivism rate, he's concerned about what will happen once all eligible inmates under this law are released over the coming months. He says he hopes the monitoring works but says this is ultimately an experiment. Now, this law was initially passed in 2021 during a special legislative session called by the governor on prison reform. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.